2014 begins on a very busy note for the Anti-Corruption Commission as they continue receiving corruption-related reports. Top on the agenda for the year 2014 include issues regarding the procurement of fertilizer by the Zambian government as well as the controversial digital migration deal. The SEC is also looking at the Auditor General's report on the utilization of constituency development fund for the year 2011. Nullified elections for parliamentarians elected during the September 20, 2011 general elections are also issues being investigated by the corruption body. SEC Public Relations Manager Timoth Mono says investigations are already underway on these and many other cases. I wish to inform you that uh, the Commission has uh, made uh, tremendous progress on the um, digital migration case and uh, investigations have actually reached an advanced stage right now. Uh, but we have concluded the, the case on the UNWTO and um, we are now uh, trying to reposition us, come up with a position on the matter following the conclusion of the case. So we are undergoing some review of the case. Our legal department is uh, giving us some legal position on it. Mr. Mono has also disclosed that progress has been made in investigating Ronald Chitotela and Roger Smuewa, the former agriculture and labor deputy ministers. This determination can be witnessed through the action by the Republican president, His Excellency Mr. Michael Sata, by removing from office two deputy ministers, namely Mr. Ronald Chitotela and Mr. Roger Smuewa, for labor and agriculture respectively due to alleged involvement in corruption in the utilization of constituency development funds revealed in the 2011 Auditor General's report on constituency development funds. The investigations by the Anti-Corruption Commission into this matter are continuing and are progressing steadily and expected to be concluded soon. In an effort to try and improve on its investigations, the Anti-Corruption Commission plans to undertake several projects in the year 2014 which include the scaling up of capacity building and asset tracing competences for personnel in the investigations and legal and prosecution departments. Mwapekwenda, Movie TV News, Lusaka.